Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so I just want to talk about this little issue that I had a couple of days ago concerning my truck. And here's the thing about it. Did not know, did not, was not even expecting this issue at all because the truck's been driving fine for a long time, a while, a good while. I haven't even had battery issues with it. And the battery hasn't even been changed ever. Like, I I, I haven't changed it. I bought it, bought, bought it used, haven't changed it. So, and it, it drove fine all day. Went to the park jogging. Got some ice cream, was hot out. And... Drove it all day, no check engine lights, nothing like that. Made sure part of the troubleshooting that, you know, there was no check engine light because if there was a check engine light, that was an obvious issue. But in this case, trucks drove fine up until the point where I was getting, going to McDonald's, parked it, and then out of nowhere, after I got out and try to start it, it would, it would crank, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't turn over. It had some really, 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 really strong cranks, and but it wouldn't turn over. I, I tried it once, twice, a couple of times, didn't do anything. So at that point, maybe I was, I was thinking to myself, probably wasn't anything to worry about. I maybe it was a glitch or something like that. I I shifted the. Uh, shifted to neutral, a couple of different positions, try to start it, had the same issue, wasn't able to get it running. So I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe it's it's possible. It's possible that maybe it's the battery that needs to be changed up. I haven't changed it, haven't touched it for a while, maybe it was dirty, etc. etc. So I actually turned on the headlights just to make sure that. Now, mind you, it was a strong crank. The headlights were working really bright. But I went to the battery anyway, looked at it, just so I could eliminate it. I, I looked at the battery terminals. It was very, it was corroded. It was, I, I, it was corroded. There was some bluish white stuff on the top. It was corroded. Battery terminal, terminals were corroded. It was a little bit loose. So I was thinking to myself, you know what, maybe I just clean this up. I just clean this up and hopefully it'll fix the situation. So I had a wire brush. I had a wire brush, I had a couple of twos, took the wire brush, took the wire brush and poured some a little bit of coke on on on, on the on the white bluish corrosion just so it would oxidate or whatever bubbled up and took the wire brush clean it off took a couple of paper towels clean clean that off made sure there was enough uh, enough contact between metal to metal not corrosion to metal so I, I, I popped popped it back in uh, took a little wrench to tighten it up and then went back and try to start it and guess what guys wish it was that easy but it did not start it didn't start up unfortunately it didn't start up so I was like thinking to myself alright it's probably not the battery considering how strong the crank was looked at the battery it was 3 years old and I was thinking to myself it's a 3 year old battery but the battery looked kind of the battery looked fine for a three year old battery normally like four 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 years five years but you know it was probably close enough to the time that it should probably be replaced but considering how strong the crank was and and I, I was cranking it up I cranked it up at least six seven times and it worked fine it, it, it was it was good it was good it was the, the cranks the cranks were strong. It wasn't like it was it was getting weaker and weaker and weaker because normally with a weak battery situation what happens is you get this situation where you know the crank would be a little bit weak 
And then the more you crank it, the weaker it gets. But this situation wasn't, it wasn't the situation. The, it cranked up pretty strong, pretty strong, uh, even on the seventh crank. So I was thinking to myself, you know what, I'm gonna eliminate the battery. It, the battery is probably good. I was thinking to myself, Okay, so I'm going down the list of things that it could possibly be, right? The uh, the crankshaft, crank the, the 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 crankshaft's position sensor, the camshaft position sensor, the mass shuffle sensor, the throttle position sensor, all the sensors. I was thinking about all the sensors. Maybe it could be any of those sensors. Maybe some one of those sensors went out. A couple of those sensors went. Maybe I couldn't. I, I couldn't tell. All right, but here's the thing about it. I had, I did not have an OBD2 scanner on me. Did not was not able to scan it just to see whether it was any of those sensors that was the issue. And then I and, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I did not notice a check engine light. I, I haven't seen a check engine light on the dash since ever actually on on this truck. So I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, okay, it's probably. It's probably none of those things. You know why I know it's probably none of those things. You know why I, how I did deduce that. I deduce that by, by here's the thing you think process is with, with troubleshooting with that. Normally, what happens is, if any of those sensors had issues, like the mass airflow sensor, the throttle position sensor, the camshaft, the crankshaft, any other sensors that would, would be causing this situation would generate a check engine light. It would generate a code saying that either the sensor is off or the reading was off or one of those things was off and then you would have the situation where you would have the situation, all right, where the check engine light is either on or it's blinking, one of those things happening, but I wasn't getting it on this situation. Fine. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? I could probably eliminate that. I mean, there are, there are weird situations where those sensors could probably generate readings that are just within the spec, but it would it would cause this situation to come up. But anyway, I I, I noticed I know that there was no check engine light. Noticed that. I know I noticed that as soon as you know once i realized there was no check engine light and then that's the that's the whole deductive reasoning behind that so i pretty much eliminated all the sensors that could possibly cause that situation so i was thinking to myself maybe maybe it could be something else maybe a, a fuse issue or a few uh, a few related issue a fuse or relay or few related issues so i i checked out the I went and checked out the, the the fuse box just to see whether if I could spot any fuses that were burnt, any fuses that had any kind of weird burnt smell to it, just to see. And and I was looking at them. I didn't have a fuse tester to test out the fuses, but I was looking at them. Had a little flashlight, shine a flashlight on them, and all the fuses look good. Did not look. Did not. I did not see anything that was burnt, anything like that. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? You know what? Um, probably not the fuses. Now, all these things would, you know, would need to be tested to get like a hundred percent elimination. But I was, I, I was gonna just from eyesight, just from deductive reasoning, eliminate that. The fuses were good. So uh, next thing I thought maybe it was one of the relays, particularly the fuel pump relay. So I was like. I need to test out the fuse fuel system just to see whether the fuse system had issues and stuff like that. So went back into my truck and try to see whether I could actually hear the fuel pump priming. Because normally the fuel pump priming, it'll if you put your if you if you set it if you put the ignition to the on position, the on position is right the position before the the start, the crank position, right? That's the position where all the lights on the dash are on, all right? You, 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 right before the crank. So I did that a couple of times just to see whether whether um, I could hear 
hear the 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 fuel pump priming now i to be honest with you normally you would need two two people for this one to actually be close to the what, what the gas cap is with the gas cap up and listening to it or close to where the fuel pump is but it was just me i i tried to listen to it couldn't really make out whether it was the fuel pump or not so i couldn't make that out couldn't figure out whether it was the relay or any of those things. I did try to try to swap out the fuel pump relay, and and it didn't actually change the situation because there was another uh, relay that was essentially a similar relay to the fuel pump relay. I swapped that out. No, all right, it didn't change the situation. So I was thinking to myself, what else could what else could I could I, could could I troubleshoot as far as this situation is concerned? And I took a chance on this. I was thinking, it popped up in my head that it could be maybe the fob key battery because I had a situation like that happen maybe a couple years ago on a different vehicle. And I was thinking to myself, what are the chances that it, it, it is the battery, right? So this, there was a Walgreens close by and I was like, you know what, let me just swap out the battery just to eliminate that because you just want to eliminate as many things as possible so that I don't have to worry about, you know, that being the case, I could work out trying to figure out what 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 other what other things causing it. So I went to the Walgreens. I swapped out the battery on on the key fob and came back and tried to start the truck and it started up just like that. It just started up just like that, just like that start up. It worked. Just like that startup. So, if you guys are in this situation, definitely, um, you know, you, what you guys want to do is you want to eliminate as many things as possible, and you want to eliminate the easiest fixes as as possible, right? Now, if you think that you haven't changed out your key fob in a while, definitely, uh, if you guys are in this situation, definitely try that changing that out because that's gonna be an easy, easy fix. If you guys get your your, your truck started uh, in that situation, but regardless, hope. This is hope you guys out. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a question in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Right?